Hello there, my name is Alex Wakito and this is Ricky Reactions and welcome to Fraud Week only. <laughs> Now we got the niceties out of the way. Why do I call it Fraud Week? Because in this week, two particular, one company and one person, a group of people, did fraud. And we're going to talk about these two cases. They're small by itself, but I wanted to bunch them up together. Before we start, hit that like, follow, subscribe, and if you're on TikTok, hit that heart and that share. Leave me a comment of your thoughts. Air conditioning company called Colon Distributor Incorporated bought 55000 $67.92 worth of air conditioners. You're like, okay. Uh, air conditioning company bought air conditioners. Yeah. However, those 92 air conditioners valued all together at $55,000 were bought from a clone card. And what's a clone card? It's a card that someone took someone's credit card and copied the data, information, everything else, signing and everything, and then use it for themselves. Now, out of those 92... They bought 32,000, 32, 12,000 BTUs, 30, 18,000 BTUs, and 30 more, 24,000 BTUs. They're getting investigated as of this moment because once they bought all the stuff, the owner of the card immediately called their, called their, his credit card company. The credit card company called the last person known of address. They described the people. They said, that's not the person that owns the card. Please identify it to the cops. The cops were notified. Now they're going to jail. But the time being, it's sad that you got to clone a car to all that stuff. The second fraud story that's really sad, Sarah and Albert, they used to work for a company called National Engineering Incorporated, has been charged with 64 counts. Now, during those times, they took apparently 21 checks from the company. They endorsed and falsified, like signing falsifying it, up to $48,000. Now they are getting investigated. This was going on, going on for a while, about a year, for Sarah and Albert. Now, what's sad about this? This this happened in Puerto Rico. I'm not gonna say exactly where, but these people and and the Sarah and Albert made a scheme that took forty eight thousand people, forty eight thousand dollars from the company, and it's sad to say like that. Sarah has Sarah has a a, a bond for twelve twelve thousand eight hundred dollars, and Albert has a bond for sixteen thousand dollars. This will be talked about on the 9th of July, and I will express a little bit more. I'm not gonna show their faces because again, until the court case is done, until they go to court and that final gavel was dropped, all I'm telling you is the fact and the data of what's happening up until that point. I'm not gonna give my opinion if it is this is true though allegedly that they stole $64,000, then they're going to jail for a very long time until either they know a good lawyer that would get them 10 years of house arrest. Stay healthy and happy. This fraud week has been really crazy. I'll bring you a little bit more because it's coming out little by little bit. I'm trying to get more videos out there talking about the $157,000 that the mayor of Loisa took for the company and they're, they're suing her right now. DRNA are doing an investigation. The 96 traffic cones that got stolen last week that we don't know where the hell they went. The, so the worker, the engineer worker that was working on the street cutting grass, she got mauled by a dog. All this stuff is coming out little by little bit. Stay healthy, stay happy. Reeking reactions on YouTube, TikTok, Twitch and Twitter and Alice Coquito on Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, Patreon, and other things if you can find me. Kiki.